In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a double jump. So let's get started. We open our BP third person character and we already have a setup for the jump. So there's two ways to do this. Let's start with the easy one and then let's move on into a little bit more complex one. For the first one, we're going to select our BP third person character on the components tab. And then we're going to go all the way down here onto jump max count, which as you can see, it's on one. And to be honest, I'm not sure why. But for this one, you're going to have to put it on three because if you put it on two, it still doesn't work. So let's put it on three, compile and test. As you can see, it's working perfectly. But if we pay attention, the first jump basically gets us up here. But if we do the second jump, as you can see, it's not as high as the first one. And that's because the jump C velocity, it's on 700. So the first one is going to be from zero to 700. But then as soon as you press the second one, you're already falling. So you have a negative C velocity. So let's say if the velocity is minus 300 and then you add the 700, you're going to end up with a jump velocity of 400. So in order to avoid that, we're just going to bring the jump max count back to one and let's do some programming. So first of all, we're going to change the execution node from trigger to start it. And we're going to make some space from the jump. We're going to get a branch. Now connect the started to the branch and then the true to the jump. Then for the condition, we're going to get the character movement and look for the function is falling. Then the return value, we're going to connect it to a not boolean and then the not boolean into the conditional. So this is going to check if the character is not falling, basically if it's on the ground, and then it's going to make the character jump. But now what happens if the character is actually falling? So we're going to drag the execution node and look for the function launch character. Now on this launch character, we're going to change the launch velocity to 700, but only on the C axis. And then we're going to check this boolean C override, which basically is going to make any velocity that we already have back to zero and then at this one. I forgot something important. Before the launch character, we're going to want to call the do once function and then connect the false into the do once and then the completed onto the launch character. What this function does is basically that you can't spam the launch character. You're only going to be able to do it once. Then we create a custom event, which we're going to name reset double jump and then connect it to the reset of the do once. Now this reset double jump it's going to be called on an event name on landed. We get the execution node and then a reset double jump. And that's all the programming you need. Now compile. And now let's test. If we press the double jump, it's going to be the same height as the first one. And you can't really spam it, as you can see. You can only recall it once you already landed. And that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you on the next video.